Garbage Gamers! gamers. Sweatpants are good for like if you don't want to wear shorts, but you want to get all sweaty. <laughs> what the hell? I well, like getting. I don't like getting sweaty. You don't like getting sweaty? It's all the benefits of sweat without putting any of the effort in. Did you ever? I've I've seen people wear them like those workout uh, gear stuff. Like they look like basically a, a big garbage bag, like a black garbage bag that's like all baggy and. I've never. Hmm. I know I know of those kinds, but they are they silver. Or kind of just I think they can material. be, yeah. Okay, those are the ones I'm familiar with. I think those are just sweat sweatsuits. Yeah, that looks like... You know what they look like? The the gray ones look like the popcorn suits from Amanda's show that you could, like, shake and... Or, oh, or like I a, know what you're talking a, about. A, a yeah. lawnmower. And it's like... Uh, <laughs> the, the popcorn pants skit with uh, Drake and Josh. See, why don't they actually make that? That would actually be an amazing product that no, I would really, really enjoy. What's separating the, the popcorn from touching the person? Is it is there like a, a layer Nothing. in between? No, no, that's the pleasure. <laughs> the the is microwaves the go right you. through your body. Yeah. They go, they go from one end of the pants to the other, like of the fabric on the inside. Right through your groin. Uh, <laughs> the heating pad that's in all those popcorn packets, it's right around the, the crotch. Yes. Mm. Did it fill up? It was only the pants, or did the uh, the did the chest and heart get uh, X-rayed too, or whatever? I think it was just the pants. Yeah, oh, okay. it was. It was popcorn pants, not like popcorn body. Popcorn pants would be a good product now because it would also double as a male birth control, which I see is very popular. <laughs> that's true, I suppose. <laughs> I guess. I, you could just I guess that could microwave, that's, your, uh, microwave your balls. <laughs> I like I, balls. I guess that's Ooh. more preferred than just using regular birth. It's 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 slight. It's somehow less lazy than regular male birth control. Well, you're right. killing two birds with one stone because you're getting a, a delicious, delicious snack on the other end. You know. And you're also, I, I guess, it is birth control because it's probably burning your genitals, making you <laughs> fertile. Yeah, I got my I got popcorn kernel burns all over my dick and balls. It's not a, <laughs> it's not anything serious. Don't worry. It's just, it's just some. Okay. Uh, you, uh, it would keep like telling that. you stop would... you gotta stop abusing your popcorn pants yes. <laughs> i i won't stop wearing them i'm hungry he's hungry all the time hungry all the time hungry, hungry, all, the hungry, time. hungry all the time i'm like a hungry hippo i'm I'll like uh, i'm like every uh every cartoon show in the early 2000s that had that that what do they call it a uh, a trope episode where they all get fat i'm like one of those I'm like uh, a walking fat guy uh, that's always getting fat. You're like a walking fat guy. <laughs> oh, as opposed to a, a non walking, as to a fat, non -walking guy. fat guy. As opposed yeah, to a as slim though man. they don't exist, like they don't walk. <laughs> they, they would, what? I've never seen that. A walking that's, fat guy? That's, oh my god. That's too, that, that fat guy's walking. <laughs> that's a contradictory statement right there. Yeah, yeah. It's not so <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes I see someone who can't walk and I'm like, oh, fuck. No. <laughs> no. Damn. Uh, so speaking of hungry, hungry hippos, uh, did that? Uh, you guys played that. Did, didn't it just devolve into basically who can like hit it, hit the button like that? Oh, yeah, you, the just most, hit, most you just angry. Like, you just keep smashing the the lever until you win. Yeah, that was that that game. I don't know if it took so much skill as much as it took like you wanting to smash the the game stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know what was a really cool game? Do you ever play Snafu? No. Hmm. Guess, what the heck is that? It was like a board game that was like it came in a box, and it was almost like a mousetrap type game that was already set up. You put a pinball, oh, okay. like a tiny little, like half the size of a regular pinball, pinball ball, you know, and yes. you put it on the the one end, and there's basically controls like an etch a sketch, and it like, oh, maneuvers yes. the thing almost like monkey ball, you know, and you're trying to get it across like this course. Yes, I kind of know what you're talking about. I got that from uh, someone across the street from me. They were having a yard sale, and they had something like that. It was just like a wooden one. Mm. came with a marble. It was pretty fun. I don't think I ever beat it. That shit is impossible. They are really cool. They are. Well, if they were easy, you'd get bored of it, like, really quickly. <laughs> and you'd be like, well, what's the point of this? I could beat it, like, in two seconds. <laughs> Paid 15 bucks for it. You know what I mean? I didn't know they had a name though, it's Snafu. Yeah, it was a cool, like, my grandma had it, and I remember finding it in the closet of her, like, 
in the top part of the, the closet crawl space and i was like oh fuck what is this and i was like Phew. you know like blew it off like indiana jones style and uh, like no no like jumanji oh jumanji style yeah oh man can you imagine getting sucked into snafu <gasps> so, <laughs> oh, basically as a kid, becoming monkey ball yeah. yeah oh man i would love to be a monkey ball that would be such a great game to get sucked into no, wouldn't you? you get <laughs> I get fucking nauseous. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, fight evil Doctor Bad Boon though. That sounds like such a good time. The bad Boon, <laughs> <laughs> and he has a sidekick who had like a butt, chin, or face or something. Right. Um. Oh, when I was gonna say, I used to fantasize as a fat as a fat kid, you know, as a fat walking kid, as opposed to a fat walking man. Uh, I would. <laughs> I would always fantasize about being sucked into Candyland as a fat child. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh man. Like a like, Jumanji series. <laughs> yeah. Just in Candyland. I, I watched, uh, that was, that's Jumanji with uh, Rob, Robin Williams, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, okay, I couldn't remember. That, that. Oh, yeah, Zephyra or whatever is the other one. Wow, but, that uh, one was just shitty. Yeah, that was garbage. But yeah, when I saw that movie, I was like, oh, man, if I could just eat candy all day. Mm. <laughs> it's all like, that peanut brittle. You just imagine like jelly. leaving your leaving every the world behind your family and friends just, like, <laughs> for, for 15 years or whatever. However long Robin Williams is stuck in there. And just but except you're just engorging yourself instead of surviving for 15 years, engorging myself in Candyland. I come back outside of the, the Candyland board box, like how he gets yeah. like, sucked back out. And I'm just like. Yeah the most morbidly obese blob. <laughs> I, I literally, I, I get stuck in the board game coming out, like how he gets stuck in the boards of the floorboard when he's like sinking yeah. to the floor because I'm just so fat. I'm like, oh no! <laughs> I get the top part sticking out. <laughs> oh no. You just, just be confused. You, you become the diabeasty. <gasps> the diabeasty. I, I truly become the evil beast of the, the Candyland realm. Who is the evil guy? The, the fudge? Uh, in oh, Candyland? in Candyland? Yeah, the uh, the blob, the blob of fudge. Yeah, sure. he like sucks you underneath. He's like quick really? fudge. There's a, there's a there's an actual villain to Candyland. Uh, let me look it up. Candy Candyland villain. <laughs> oh wait, no, the, no. the licorice guy, right? Yeah, I was gonna say it's Lord Licorice. Oh, oh. Uh, I forgot about be. Lord Licorice. Uh, I... Dark Licorice. Um. Because dark licorice is kind of evil. Uh, Gl Gloppy is the chocolate monster, but he's yeah. he's, appar he's apparently nice. Yeah, I would I would suck down Gloppy. You'd suck you'd suck him off. I would no, I, I would engorge myself in him. Like I would like. Um, oh, okay. Did you ever watch Beer Fest? No. Ah, no. damn! I can't compare it to that scene then. Uh, just sinking into the whole thing, and then I go like. <sighs> Uh, there was a gag in Ed and Eddie where like Ed like jumps into a big vat of like Jello. Oh and yes. He, like eats the whole thing like that. Like from I was from the like, inside out. Yeah, exactly. Like I would just devour him, or I would like suck him all up. Um, okay. There was a Candyland CD game that I used to play on the PC from like ages ago. 1996 CD-ROM. Wow, Candyland Adventure. Oh my god. Oh, you Dude, like we we gotta play this game on the on the channel. Okay. I think. Uh, uh, oh, all right, if we can yeah. afford it. Uh, yeah, I'm not to say. scrounge around for some loose change to afford that. I'm sure there's something in this dumpster. I, I gotta wait. Let me show oh, you guys. Value. Yeah, I, I guess I'll put this in the in the call chat for you guys that we have in the dumpster over here. That's what yes. we like to we like to refer to the wall as the call chat, and I'll just get <laughs> you to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You could even go to the lollipop woods. Oh man, what a great game! That brings back crazy memories. Oh. Oh man, I totally would eat that guy. Oh, Which one? I, I totally the fudge guy. I would completely no, eat no, that no, guy. No, no, don't eat him. Don't eat him. He was the one that I fantasized sucking off the most. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, like <laughs> you just want that. You just want his nice like, brown, his brown, like, just delicious body. <laughs> 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 he always looks so tasty, I swear. Like, like, look at this image that I'm, I'm drawing out for you guys right now that you can clearly see. <laughs> wow, it's, he looks awesome. Oh my god, that arm. He just a, He's a purely a body. Well, I mean, he's not. He has no body. He's just a head and an arm. Well, no, he's, he's, he's the whole pool. Well, that'll be our next uh, garbage let's play. Oh man, yeah, so. we should play that. And Gloppy the... Candyland fucking shitty game or whatever this is called. <laughs> that oh, game starts hey. out as you're a fat kid who just wants to go to a candy store. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, 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 continue your thought. 
Oh no, he, that's that's the whole plot. Is your fat kid who wants to go to a candy oh, okay. store, but all the candy's been eaten. Oh, okay. Well, um, speaking of a game, I made a game for you guys. <gasps> oh, so, you did. So this is this is the first garbage gaming game. What we have. So what I did is I took so the back of the box description for some games. Okay. And I put the the, back, the box description through a bunch of different languages in Google Translate, then translate okay. it back to English. <laughs> so I'm gonna read it to you guys, okay. and you can tell me, and you have to, you can, you know, you can guess as much as you want to how what game you think this is. Ooh, oh, God. all right. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So number one, enter the wonderful 3D world of blank in Marsh Spill Racing. He next attacked broke down with the end sign in front hard for you <laughs> hard for you with the i like end that sign in front. hard uh, for you it's a 3d world it's a 3d world it's, it has racing in it some although i don't know that might be a mistranslation something i'm going to say wait can i guess the system first yeah playstation 1 yes is it crash team racing e basically i don't know why it turned it Translated racing, but it's the first Crash Bandicoot game. Ooh, all right. So yeah, it, that, that was good. I, what okay. was it? What gave That's it off? Fair. Just the end sign in front. Yeah, when yeah. I heard end sign, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, like Neo Cortez. Okay. <laughs> so all right, so good. Uh, one for one for one. Okay. Uh, all right, on to the next one. All right. Blank like kidnapped this. blank and got married a hundred years ago. But if you help marry, you're not. Join him and his new hat. For dual puzzles, amazing oh. ninja sites, parking lots, and other fun and exciting places. <laughs> parking lots? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I feel like because the new hat, it's, it feels like it's got to be Mario Odyssey, but I'm not oh, sure. Oh, that is. So. Was, yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. We're one for one. Because, like, what other game has, like, yeah. a, a new hat being a mechanic, you know, yeah. or, or oh, some sort, something of note? Oh, that's true. TF2. But... But I like the idea that like Bowser did marry Princess Peach a hundred years ago, and now yeah. Mario is doing something about it. Yeah, he he took a sweet sweet ass time. <laughs> it took him a long time, and now he's like, "Keep your it, goddamn princess out of my mouth, out of your mouth." <laughs> he was too. He got lost in the parking lot. All the parking lots he visited. Yeah, so, it's like, like, like. I guess that's we park a, the car. That's supposed to be like New Donk City, like the. Uh, the, oh. the the city level instead of like but it translated as a park being a parking lot instead of a yeah. city for some reason to be fair a lot of it though was empty like he kind of just spawns onto a big ass parking lot that's a on top of <laughs> no, that's not rafters true. in the sky that's not right. true all right this one's gonna be a little more difficult but uh okay. you guys can guess like consoles and things like that to this okay you, you guys can guess to narrow it down gotcha. he he went deep into her heart as she hurriedly tried to fill the gap. She is very busy singing blockbuster songs for herself and her partner. What? Singing. He went deep in, into her heart? <laughs> this is, you are not gonna, honestly, okay, wait, probably me, not gonna guess, guess this. Console, maybe. Yeah. Is it PS1? Yes. PS1 is it, the, the only clue I have is singing. Is it like Parappa the Rapper? Oh my gosh, you got it. Whoa! Yes! Whoa. Yes! Wow, you guys oh, are I'm good. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I don't, so the original one is help Parappa the Rapper with the best of the master rappers and <laughs> straight into Sonny's heart. Guaranteed, oh. you'll be singing and dancing along with Parappa and his pals to the most fun music mixes. Damn. Okay. I can't believe you got that. That was really good. Yeah, cool. that was really good. That's All right. All right, on to the next one. Blank picked up the tree of joy and wrote the pages of Blank's family book. Uh, Blank is unaffected by this magical weapon. The tree created the joy and happiness of the world. The only thing that ruins the happiness of boys online. Boys online? A tree? Is this Kingdom Hearts? No. Uh, is this... Wait... Uh... I'm gonna reserve this because I might know this. You can guess. You, you can guess consoles if you want. Is this N64? Yes. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. But I'm gonna let Chris guess it because I guess. Is it one. the Ocarina of Time? No. A tree? Uh, oh man. Chris, Chris, well, think. There's, there's only one. Uh, there's only one game I know of oh. with, a, with a happy tree. Oh, uh, Yoshi's Story. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. so. right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for giving, for giving me that one, that one. I get it. I was thinking these were going to be too difficult. So I, No, our, our knowledge of gaming yeah. is, is uh, too powerful. I guess yeah, have, narrowing it down to so the console uh, makes it easy. So maybe I won't do that for this one. Okay. okay. All, right. All, right, all right. Blank's new adventure takes him to the mysterious world of the afterlife. Okay. When a masked mysterious man steals his name from Ukraine when throwing it away and moving on, Blank Silly solves the me. mysteries of the moon, saves the world from destruction, and smoothly returns it to a Medovillian fat. I embarked on a journey. Uh, that sounds like Despicable Me mixed with this one <laughs> game of Spy Fox, uh, Dry Cereal. But I know it's not that one, probably. Uh, I think I know it, but uh, I'm I'm gonna let you guess a little more, Chris. A moon? Is it? Is it? Is this one Ocarina? Uh, not Ocarina. Majora's Mask. Ah, dang! You guys. Oh, you I, just, I. You just. You guys smoked me on all these. I thought I was gonna get you guys with. I, like, I stump you. I, I thought it was Paper Mario that was in your door. Actually, oh. I was totally Ooh. I was totally off because because you do go to the moon in that one. Oh, okay, that's oh. true. Uh, but that was awesome. Uh, I did not know that uh that would be so fun because i didn't know i would get i would get as many as i did yeah so although i was all I, of them. I, I got with, i got too confident in the end with with oops, uh, paper mario i i thought for sure that's what it was going to be but i guess when you think of like moon and video game it's going to automatically be majora's mask mm -hmm. yeah even though, even though there's a lot of games with the moon Right. You guys even know Mario your... Odyssey, you know, go to, go, to, go to the moon of Mario. There's another Mario game. That's true, and that's like the only game that the hat. There's a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's like a hat in time, but I'm not sure if both of you guys. Uh, I can't. I tried to stick to games. I imagine oh, both of you at least know of. What's wrong, Chris? My mic was. I mean, oh, I think I just sat on my part in the dumpster and broke it. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oops. My fat ass uh, is this bit too powerful. I forget sometimes. Okay. Well, I eventually have to, we it's eventually need to get to Mario's that double run. wide dumpster. The double wide. We do need a double wide dumpster for my double wide dump truck ass. <laughs> 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 oh man, wouldn't life be much better if you could just have a, a big dump truck ass, Peter? Uh, thought that, about it. That would uh, that would just lead to horrible back problems and also. I imagine going to the bathroom would be a nightmare every time. <laughs> well, it'd be a it'd be a dream. No, it'd be a awful because you're like true. no, because when you sit down, it's like you're you're still two feet from the bowl. Oh, no. so oh our, that's a good point. I never thought about sponsor, that. BigDumpTruckAss.com. Oh shit! Where, where you well, can yeah, get maybe a dump we should. Truck ass. We don't. We shouldn't <laughs> talk about this because uh, yeah, they're our, <laughs> our our one sponsor. It sponsors this. Oh, we have is, I just is, is ass related. Oh, no. oh, you got a call from them? I just got a call. Dump truck ass saw this live, and they're like, listen, our big butts <laughs> want out of this dumpster. So we're, we're, no. uh, we, we are fortunately uh, <laughs> saying that the, the dump truck asses are pulling out of the of the, of the the dump today. Uh, I don't Mark. know, but Ben did have a good point. You're, you, you, it is a lot. It, I can't imagine someone pooping with that big of a butt. And wiping? Yeah, oh, yeah. A, it's like I a mean, whole spelunky adventure. I mean, my heart goes out to those people who have to deal with that. Sure. I mean, some people do it by choice, though. So I don't, I don't, I don't give my heart out to them. Though. There's a certain point where people are a certain amount of fat and evil obese, where uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, where where it's just like, um, it's just like at this point, like, well, I'm doing this intentionally. Like, this is just to ruin the lives of everybody else. You know, like, there's a certain point where I have to and my it. own. I, am I own? In, I'm in, taking you down with me. Now, exactly. is that an actual thing where people will do this stuff? Just to, like, is it to spite humanity or just people around them? Uh, or? I, I've watched videos with Peter. Like, there was one where a guy like was just. I, I'll probably just eat until I die. You know, he's just like, I guess I'll just kill myself, like by food. You know, and he just he, that's what he wanted to do was just eat himself to death. And he, yeah, would, he was, like, yell he at was resigned to it, but but I don't I don't think he was like. No, no, he he, he was kind of like accepting but of it but like which is fine but he was also like lived with his dad and who who was like he and, would like, take huge his to his dad he was like take his dad's food all the time oh <laughs> but i remember you mentioned this is like this guy yeah. who's abusive towards his family it's a good clip mm. honestly if you looked up fat evil abuse fat guy, bastard you, you might, yeah <laughs> you might find him 
<laughs> oh, wait, did you say fat bastard? Holy yeah. shit, you just reminded me of a character I've been working on for stage. As you guys know, I do stand up comedy, and I'm this is the character I've been working on for stage a new original, okay. a, a new original character. Lay it on I, I me. call him a, a fat racist bastard. Uh, okay, <laughs> what, what's going on, guys? I'm fucking racist and I'm fucking fat. Okay, in is this my the racist character? belly. What do you guys think about my... that guy? Get him my racist. It's even worse because he's racist. That's the worst part about him. That is probably. I, it's, is that just how is, eating someone? Is that just how you immediately write someone as evil? Like in most things, it's like they kick a, they hurt a dog or they kill right. a dog, and that means they're evil. So is that? I guess that is just like the trump card of yeah, just you want an evil racist. character. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. make him racist. It's if like any, every, yeah. racist like Bioshock Infinite. Animals. Yeah, Bioshock. yeah, exactly. The Bioshock Infinite. The like, bad you're guys. like, wow, what an Very amazing, racist. amazing like city and place. And then you see everyone. It's like, oh no, they do the racist thing, and you're like, they're all evil. I gotta kill them all now. Yeah, it's like it's a beautiful city in the sky, but they're all racist and all it's disgusting like, whites. That they are disgusting whites, but I it, mean, we're we're white and whites. we're disgusting. But it's true. We yeah, but that's a, that, that's right a little now, different because we filth Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's different because we're in the dumpster. <laughs> um, oh man, what was I gonna say on that? Oh no, I, I'm I, disgusting I just, bastard, racist bastard. Oh yeah, that reminds me of my other character, disgusting <laughs> fat racist French bastard. Oh, okay. Oh wee wee, get in my fucking fat racist gut. My fellow, oh, he's racist too. They don't say anything explicitly racist. They just say they are racist. <laughs> exactly. They, they don't. They're not like. Well, oh, it's I a work in progress. I'm working <laughs> on the character. We're trying to but like, but that's but that makes for a better character. It's like they don't do anything racist. They just say they're racist. <laughs> they just claim to be racist. They're yeah. like they're like poser racists. Oh, yeah, if anything, he hasn't done anything to to validate that claim. So really, he's he's a pure soul. Yeah, no, so, no, he's man. he's a poser. He's just a poser. He wants to be in with the in crowd, the racists. Oh, and, yeah, he's a. Uh, but he doesn't have it in him, so he's like, "I'm racist, you guys, just like you, just like you." And they're like, "Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah do yeah. something yeah. racist." Do he's something like, "Racist then, all right?" He's like, "Look, I'm a little bashful. I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's like, he's like, "I did. Oh, I did something racist yesterday. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm all, I'm all out today." Yeah, I'm all out really, of my uh, hate. Guys, I've been racist like all week. It's been like a lot of <laughs> I committed yeah, so yeah. many hate you crimes. Will, you, you, you wouldn't believe. You would not believe the streak of racism I've been having this week. <laughs> the streak, yes. The amount of, of Indian people that I've made cry is just phenomenal. You would you guys uh you know it's another level. Specifically Indian people. So <laughs> I I, I, don't know I feel who bad this, this target would be. Who I, I feel bad for the day that people start trying to pose as race be racist posers. Oh, just just for the the clout, racist yeah. clout. <laughs> this is that's a horrible thing to chase for. <laughs> they just want that that sweet sweet clout, no matter what the cost. I actually we've <laughs> known someone like that in the past. I won't mention. Oh jeez, I won't name names. Yeah, but that, that is true. But, I just uh, realized that. Yeah. But don't worry. Um. <laughs> oh, so, do, have you ever played Counter Strike? You know what? Out of all the Valve games, that might be the only one that I have not played. No, Play that's like not that. true. They have a weird ass card game now about. Do I haven't played Dota either. Uh, I'm more of a Dota person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but unfortunately, I fucked up and um, couldn't rejoin. So I got uh, what happens when you leave a game because they're so like they can take anywhere between half an hour to an like two hours, but usually it stays within like forty minutes. Right. Um. But I left one during that, or I couldn't reconnect, so I got hit with a abandon, which basically means now you gotta play all these shitty games before you, got, you can start playing the normal you got a games. VAC band, almost. Yes, but that, I kept. But the then worst. I fucked up again in like oh, no. these games I'm trying to play, so now I have to do double the amount. So it's like, oh. uh, it's at that point now where I'm like, I, I can't, I can't redeem myself from this. I have to just call That's it quits, <laughs> which is fine. It's a good way to stop playing a game. Yeah, That's, that was always my problem with MMOs. Is like I just the, the repetitive, like it's always going on, and you there's never like a clear end goal. It's just like uh, it's too much of a time sink. I can't invest that time into it. Like I loved uh, Civ, but then I realized like oh, this is just a time sink. Same thing with TF2. It's like I love TF2, but damn, yeah, uh, it's, it's never okay. ending. I'll, I'll never defeat the blue team. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no matter how much they no they, how they keep coming I, back. Yeah, no matter how much I cream the blue team, or no matter how many robots I kill, they're, they're just never gonna release that final comic. Yeah, what a, what a uh, shame. I guess so that's sad. the kind of the thing with roguelikes and roguelites is they become quite the time sink. Like Enter the Gungeon or Binding of Isaac. It's like People, those games could go on forever. People love yeah. those games, though. I mean, I, I completely understand the fan base. I completely understand why people love them and get so sucked into them. It's just, it, unfortunately, I don't have that kind of time commitment, unfortunately. One, yeah, day, one I, day you'll have the time for Elden Ring, though. Oh, God, dude, I'm waiting on Elden Ring. I, I've been waiting on Red Dead 2, which is something that Peter's been playing recently. Yeah. I've, uh, I've been enjoying the story mode. I mean, like, luckily, I, I mean, there is an online mode, but I, which I haven't gotten into yet. I want to finish the story first, but... um. I've only seen people play the, the online, and that's all I've seen. I just saw okay, one, so you're, like two you're seconds kind of, of it. Kind of Are there? Uh, so I have a question. Are there any yeah. clout chasing racists in that game? In in Red Dead? Uh, yeah. Let me think. That's it's, it's what 1910. People were still Something racist like back then. Right? Oh yeah, there's, there's plenty of race. You're, <laughs> you're 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 running with a gang what? in in Isn't the there, like, the KKK in that one too. Uh, I haven't met them yet. If it, they are in it, I, I imagine that. It, for a game which is like you obviously you, you'd never do a mission for the kkk no it's, it's all it's always gonna end with you like it's always gonna end with you them. massacring yeah. them they right. are in the game but i'm pretty sure you can just go and find them and kill them pretty much oh okay so they're like hidden kind yeah of? it's like one of those like little like hidden things okay, okay. see yeah, like I the sculptulas from zelda you just gotta listen for their like racist banter you like oh, there <laughs> they are yeah, you just hear them saying like slurs, and you're like, "Wait, I can I can track them now." Yeah, because there is like a tracking mechanic where you can track like the, with your dead eye, you can track like the sense of animals and stuff, and track animals with that. So mm -hmm. maybe you can track the races too by their slurs. <laughs> Jew, Jew. <laughs> you just there's hear it Jew in the wind. Here. Get him. Is that what is that what ra a racist against Jews sounds like? I guess I, I imagine they'd say more, but I, I think for this, I, I think for the sake of like most, most games aren't like actually, like companies won't actually do any pull any actual like race slurs and things like that. They just use very. I wonder what the most racist game mm. ever played was. Oh, Have you ever played? Uh, Bioshock played Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't play that one. It had to be Bioshock okay, Two. Why is Bioshock Two racist? Um, or, or it just seems to be, but, the, okay. every, but everyone's white. It's just white people. Right, right, so it's maybe, like it's it's Kingdom literally. Or definitely like, like, racist. Oh, geez, I can't believe I just used the word literally. But um, that game is like, <laughs> the Bioshock One and Two. It's just white, like white people problem, like first world problems. That's the true. Game. They just they leave the the first world to go down to the ocean because they wanted a better world. Yeah, they they were just unhappy with like regular society. They chose the impossible. They, they chose racism. No, no, no. Oh. Well, that prob that's probably the trailer for Bioshock Infinite. I chose the impossible. I chose racism. So that's a, uh, and then because of that, you have to massacre all of them. So. Yeah. Is there still big daddies in that game in the third? Uh, there's uh, there's big hand dudes. They're yeah. not big daddies though. No. Yeah, they're just they just have big hands. Okay, yeah. like the thumb thumbs and spy kids. Pretty much, but just with their hands. They're just <laughs> thumb thumbs on their hands. <laughs> I think they have like just. I think they have tiny heads. Let me see Bioshock Infinite. You know, like I, I that's probably the the biggest triple A game that was like super praised that I didn't like. Was like, this praised? I don't remember. Oh yeah, like when it came out, like uh, people loved it. It got like really good reviews. Huh. But the, I, I didn't like the game. Uh, is... I, it just was like, the gameplay was worse than the, the first couple of Bioshocks. I, I felt like you can only carry two guns, which I hated. Oh, that's a lack. Is the songbird the big daddy? I mean, you never fight it, so. Huh. I think I think that's the equivalent of the Big Daddy, but you, don't, you never fight it. But there yes. are other there are other enemies that are kind of like that substitute the Big Daddy fights. Yeah, kind of. Not not quite. Of, him. of what uh, the songbird or the Big yeah, Daddy? Yeah, a lot of really cute plushies. 
Um, I think we we should uh, um, what do you call it? Ooh, you can't. The, the uh, is the juice in our dumpsters running the juice, out? Yeah, the juice is running. Oh, away. oh, the um, the the uh, the Capri the Chipotle across the street. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the Chipotle the, we have our extension cord hooked up to is going to be like shutting off the power soon. So yeah, it's <laughs> yeah they're closing. Dude, I was I'm. I'm getting uh I'm getting kind of sad thinking about how I don't have any more Capri Sun. I'm all out. Why are you out? I, I drank it all, and now soon I'll be returning to my Capri Sun, uh, silver, silver, silver surfer, uh, mode. What does that mean? <laughs> Is that okay? I'm, I'm not making any sense at all. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Remember the old ass Capri Sun commercials where like they would be like a weird. Capri Sun straw that would like spout out when they would put it in the the the, the fuck? And, no, no, no. <laughs> this is the thing. And, and and like it would it would like follow the kids and like collect them and it would like turn them into like silver. To to turn them into the silver surfer. I, I've never. I don't I remember like, this. They, that that they, sounds very nineties. I will say. Uh, it was. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm thinking of Sunny D. Now it's I'm, like, I'm thinking of that stuff. I'm thinking of Sunny oh, D just yeah. blowing up in my face. Oh, that was a, yeah. A lot of uh, products back in the '90s like to explode in your face. Gushers, fruit roll-ups would wrap around your mouth and suffocate you. Uh, f- uh, oh, were gushers the ones that turn your your head into giant fruit that would? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did they ever change back, or yeah, no. is was that just Airheads, like a permanent ailment? Airheads, you pretty much just died. That's true. Oh. Your, your head popped off. All I remember, remember was well, go on. Well, I was going to say, do you remember Respect the Pouch, that ad campaign? I was just yes. going to say that. That's the only thing I remember from Capri Sun. That's why when you said, like, you remember sucking people in and spitting them out as silver people, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? That, well, just, okay, I, I also Capri Sun that... was always, always like, a kid steps on the pouch and then they blow up. Yeah, it's usually like, yeah, Capri Sun you don't want to mess with, but this old commercial, I'm going to give you a play-by-play. Okay. Basically, this kid puts a, a straw into the Capri Sun and he takes a little sip and he's at the beach having a good old time and all the kids around him start turning into the Silver Surfer, literally like silver surfing on the <laughs> okay. waves. And yeah. they, they're like a metallic creature and then he keeps drinking it until he also becomes a metallic creature floating with like a ghost tail that looks like a sperm floating through a house. And then, they, <laughs> and then like the Terminator 2, they all like re-solidify just so they can sit on the couch drink a little bit more Capri Sun and then they go back into the creatures and they mold and meld away. It was, it, it messed with my head as a kid. That sounds like it, a nightmare. So yeah, Capri Sun had a lot of fucking uh, weird stuff tied in with it. Yeah, so it sounds like they just filled it with LSD, which is why yeah, they yeah. say respect the pouch because if you don't go into the experience... You gotta like, go into it with a good mindset, yeah. Yeah, if you don't respect it, then you're gonna have a bad time, so... You gotta that, respect that pouch. That 90s Capri... Uh, what was it Capri Sun or Sunny D? It was Capri Sun. Sunny D just okay. splashed in your face, I think. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like nuclear powered. Yeah. Dude, they got to bring back Sunny D, but just make it the Estus juice for the Elden Ring. Oh. The Elden Ring tie in. Oh, Actually, they, they did for, for Dark Souls 2. You could pre order it and get a shitty little Estus flask that was like half the size of what you would think it would be. Maybe even half of that, like it was like a shot glass, and it just it, you couldn't even fill it with any liquid. It was just the shape of a glass, but there was no hole in it. Oh, did did, <laughs> uh, did did Elden Ring sell out to like Tostino's pizza rolls, or is that mostly like a Halo like shooter, Call of Duty? Oh, uh, sort of thing? I I think it's most. I don't think Elden Ring had any promotional tie-in with like. Food. A snack food, yeah. No, no, no like the Elden Onion know. Ring. <laughs> no, that would be <laughs> like, smart. Yes. Like if you if you go to um, Pizza Hut, you can get the special like order if you order the Elden Onion Ring. <laughs> I, I would love to get the Elden Onion Ring. God damn, that would be delicious. Would you try a, a legendary Elder Ring, Peter? If it was real, like a little, like a like a twenty year old uh, Onion Ring, <laughs> would you try that out? Twenty? Why is it so old? I mean, that's preserved for freshness you know it's like a, it's like a fine wine. the opposite of fresh oh okay it's like a fi- it's a wine like yeah. age it's got age so many preservatives it's not gonna like you know it's not gonna decompose <clears throat> or anything i try it i, I try everything once uh, i've seen <laughs> some <laughs> videos of people trying uh pepsi clear oh yes, yes. <laughs> and it's 20 years old and they taste and they throw up 
what is this? I love that. That's one of the best reactions you could possibly have. Why Why would you buy this stuff? That's 20 years old. The only thing that's, drink uh, it. That, that upsets me about those kind of videos is when Badlands Chugs doesn't puke. I feel like that dude should puke after every single time he swallows anything. It, Badlands hey, Chugs has like no, like, it, it, let's just say his gut is so deep that once anything gets in, into it, it like nothing, it can't come out. And it sounds like his immune system just stops caring. Like most people <laughs> yeah. throw up because it's like the body's trying to expel toxins. I love but that. It just ends. sounds like his is just non existent. So, yeah, it doesn't care. His, his chugs are when he finishes and he goes, Oh, he just belches. <laughs> yeah, does anybody have a belch in them? Because I feel like uh, we got, we got no. like, uh, not right now. Too much time left. Can you air burp? Do you got any? Uh, 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 I have done that forever. But, all right. Yeah. That was yeah. that was some good garbage gaming. That was some good garbage burping, some garbage gargling. All right. Tune us tune in next time for the next as we continue our playthrough here. <laughs> all right. Hell yeah. We're gonna fucking keep going with this game. All, all right. right. See you ya. Bye. Goodbye. Whoa, easy open Capri Sun. Now that's cool. Capri Sun, easy open liquid cool. Coming at you, Capri Sun by the pitcher. So whenever you want, you can make as much as you want. All natural Capri Sun drink mix. Hi, boy.